Hey y'all, it's Sashalis here. As you all know, I'm not doing well. Uh, my physical problems have been pretty bad. Um, you probably tell I'm trying very hard to talk, but I want to make some videos or attempt to. So we're going to see how it goes. I wanted to start with um, Sunnyside. We're just going to start over. We're going to make a new character. I am completely in love with this game. So we're going to put it here in the empty slot, obviously. We're going to put um, new game instead of load game um, yeah I guess this one we'll just do cozy mode for right now I when I play on my own I like the RPG mode it just makes it a little harder right so I hope everyone is doing well hope the day is treating you right and I love the character creation in this game I go in here every once in a while and um, as you can see I make new characters cuz you know why not right um, so this one's pretty thin let's make a little bit more of a rounder girl oh this is my nose okay yeah the nose is good should we make her real anime looking this time Make a real anime look in here. Uh, there we go. And then let's make her mouth a little bit smaller. That's good. Her lips were fine, I think. Um, the chin and the jawline. I think her chin is fine. We can make it stick out a little. Let's bring it in. And then let's bring yeah, let's bring her let's make her a little rounder. Like a little wider face. What do you say? I don't know what this is doing. Oh, it's just okay. Filling out her cheeks a little bit more so she's not so pointy. But let's not make it quite that big because she looks a little ridiculous. And then making her chin longer or shorter. Let's make it shorter. In skin details, I don't remember what she has. Oh, she has a couple moles here, but let's... Ugh. I don't want to give her freckles, but it's... Let's... Let's give her none. Is there a none option? There is not. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Let's take off her skin details and give her none. There we go. Let's go to her hair. I want to give her... Give her some give her some like dark purple hair on top. Should give her some well, I don't like the pigtails because then it just turns the bands purple. I actually like having the double colored hair. We could give her the side ponytail, but that again does the, the bands color. I want her to have purple and pink. Now that is some 
real anime girl hair right there. Um, second color, let's make it hot pink. That looks good. And then the first color should be this purple, this dark purple. Maybe we should make it even more dark purple. So it looks, yeah. No. But I definitely want it to be purple with the pink. Well, that's just in and out there, isn't it? Let's see here. How about this hairstyle? I do like this hairstyle. I like it a lot. I think it's so pretty. But that purple's not really shining through, is it? Maybe make it pink on top. It's real hot pink. And then make the second color purple, maybe? That works better. That works a lot better. But I think this purple needs to be darker. There we go. That seems to work a lot better. She's got a little bit of a rounder face. Little teeny tiny little nosy nose thing. There we go. Um, eyebrows. We want them to be the purple color. There we go. I like those ones. She doesn't need facial hair for sure. Um, those are some really big anime eyes. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my. Oh, look at those. Those might work. Those or these? Kind of like these better for her. And then let's get some, um, let's get some color going on here. And then for the first color, And do some pink. There we go. That looks cool. Cool. I kind of like that. Um, I am trying my best here, guys, just so you know. Uh, accessories. I kind of like this necklace, but maybe we can put it, like, in a hot pink color. There we go. Um, I don't know. She'd be, she be smart glasses girl. I kind of like those. She kind of looks cute. Maybe in a dark purple. I kind of like those, to be honest with you. Earrings or piercings. But you can't see her earrings, really. So maybe she could have like a little nose piercing. That kind of sits weird on her little nose. What about a little lip? Yeah, let's give her a little lip one. It can also be dark purple. Maybe make it a little brighter than that. There we go. She can have a little lip piercing. I don't know. No, not that one. I don't know. I think that's probably good enough. There we go. And then her body. I made this girl real skinny anime girl. So 
so what is with never giving any woman their boobs I think she should maybe be a little bit more athletic I definitely want her curvy all the way curvy but like her legs and her arms could be a little bit more athletic -y. there we go make her not be so stick figure-y um, clothing should she wear a dress I don't know I mean she is awful freaking cute oh look at that one That's a cutie little dress. I don't like how our arms are, though. Look at them. Kind of weird. Let's go for a shirt. I kind of like that. It's already pink and purple. And then what about the bottoms? I mean, I kind of wanted her in a dress, but maybe, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of farming. Maybe she's just more of a, a comfy gal. So, with that top now, it just looks like pajamas. <laughs> right? I don't want it to look like pajamas. But maybe she could have some jeans. just don't know maybe maybe it's just the wrong top although I did like the top I'm thinking maybe not maybe she could have this one I don't know who she is yet that's my problem we go that works and now we can get her some pants Just some jeans, I think. Don't you think so? Not pure colors. Dark, dark colors. There we go. Just some blue jeans. Maybe she should be in black jeans. Okay. And then that's the belt color. So let's make that purple. Wait. Give it the same purple. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then a jacket. Do we need a jacket right now? I don't know. I think the jacket just kind of takes away from the look of it. Not about a vest. No. I think the jacket takes away the look of what we were going for. Those are cute. I like those. Uh, not a big fan of those. Let's let's just go with this one they're already black white and purple so I think they're good as it is and I think yeah she's got a watch and a little bracelet so I think I think we're all good on that 
So I guess we'll just have to try and name her. Let's take a take a photo. And I think she's gonna have kitten ears because how cute is that? Should we get it with the look of the city out in the background? Coffee shop background? Should we get it in front of the bakery case? Maybe she's got a big sweet tooth. Let's do that. Save the photo. Very gay. Now we gotta name her. I guess I'll name her, um... Plays. We'll just name her Sachelis Plays because that's my uh, YouTube name. And then we'll just coffee lover because I am a coffee lover. Um, excited to be starting over because that's what we're doing right we're starting over and let's see um spring summer i think she'd be in autumn why not it'd give us time to to let's let's go the 16th of autumn because then um we'll have time to get to know some people and then let's put her at, um, an eight, very feminine, hyper feminine. Is that nine? Is that zero? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Let's just put it at eight. And we'll get started on this. I'm hoping it's not too loud. Kira, you finally did it. I did, brother. I did. Welcome to the future. Oh, it's not that exciting. My only sibling finally joins the world of social media. It's exciting. Besides, I need to keep tabs on you somehow. I'm not a child. No, but I still care about you. And I still can't believe you're doing this. I know, but we talked about it. It is still crazy. So what's the town like? Dunno, train dropped me in Higashi. I have to catch a bus from here. A bus so in the middle of nowhere? The land is cheap and probably the only thing I'll ever be able to afford. It's an opportunity. Sometimes you have to leap when opportunity comes. Just because the listing was cheap doesn't mean you'll win. Only one way to find out. Well, I'm here for you, no matter what happens. Thanks, Kira. What are big sibs for? Let me know how it goes. I will. I don't know. Kira gives me big brother energy. Kira is a uh, uh, pretty much non-binary name in Japan. It can be male or female, or I should say... 
of both genders. So I've seen Akira's be male and I've seen Akira's be female. So there's no wrong um, answer to is it a big brother or big sister with that name. I just feel like it's more of a big brother vibe if you see what I'm saying. So I figured I'd probably make some of these videos and this one will probably just get the land. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Um, so we'll just see. But I am in love with this game and really just wanted to play it. Oh yeah, you saw it popped up that there's a new song unlocked. You can unlock the songs and then you can buy a record player and buy all the songs at a record store in Higashi where we just were. And then um, you can play them on your lot at home. I'm sorry if I'm quiet. I'm trying to speak up louder so you can hear me. Get kind of look at some of the town. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Thanks for being here. My name is Mayumi and I'm a member of the Sunnyside City Council. We'll start the auction in just a moment, and we appreciate your patience. Wait, don't we get to see the place? How do I know if I want it or not? The land tour was yesterday. I was listed in the advertisement. Who are you? Obviously, he's on the council. They're all up there. This is Hiro. He is also a member of the council. You expect me to buy a property site unseen? All right, everyone, let's begin. What a waste of my time. Dang, I missed the property tour. Oh well, how bad can it be? Here goes nothing. Famous last words, right? All right, everyone. Starting price is three fifty capules. Three fifty. Do I have four hundred? Sure. Six hundred. Oh my! Don't bet on that. So, do y'all want to see what happens when you don't bid? getting really expensive 850 850 850 over here anyone for 900 900 all right 850 going once going twice don't bid sold to the lovely new landowner up front see hero to finalize your property deed thank you everyone achievements completed speed run any percent It get an achievement and then you can retry. 350? Do I have four? We'll bid. So we can bid. 850, anyone? Getting expensive. 
900, 850, going once, going twice, will bid. 950, 900 once, twice, sold for 900 capules. See hero to finalize your property deed. Thank you, everyone. Hey, congrats. Name's Gabriel. Mayumi says I'm supposed to give you a ride to your new place once you've settled up the taxes and paperwork. All right. I'll wait here. Come find me when you're ready to go. <sighs> okay, now, okay. To E to interact with different items in the world. WASD to move. Move the camera for a close look at aim mode. Interact with different items in the... Oh, I saw that already, right? Okay. Oh, I have auto walk on. That's right. Stop. Hey, congratulations. If you just sign the documents, please. Oh, a farm name. Somebody suggested one, and I don't remember what it was, but it was really cute. I think we'll just name it Dark Tide Farms. Dark Tide. Uh. Dark Tides, um, what should we name it? Dream. We'll just call it Dark Tides Dream, I guess. I don't know. Thank you. By the way, I noticed your phone is cracked. Come by Tech Hero later, I'll get that fixed up for you. Oh, thank you. That's so kind. Neighbors need to support each other, right? I guess so, yeah. Your phone is connection to many systems and menus in a game, as well as how you will communicate with other people in town. You can open it with F. Through the course of the game, you'll unlock various apps, so be sure to check it often. You know what? I'm going to turn that auto lock off because I don't like it as much as I thought I was going to. It was a new thing they just did. Um, but I don't, I don't like it. I thought I would try it out, see how I did like it, but I don't like it. So I'm going to turn that off. That's one of the new features and the update. They update this game pretty often. Uh, fix bugs, add quality of life stuff. The devs really are listening to people. So, um, it's really, it's really cool. Um, I think it's like every week or every other week I have an update on this game where they're adding new features. So, I'm really excited to be playing it. I know I probably don't sound excited. But that's the medication I'm on for my leg. Um, so, um, I'll explain at the end what's going on with me so people don't have to sit and hear it if they don't want to. Hello there, my name is Mayumi Okada. Pleased to meet you. I'm Sashalis. I just wanted to say I'm very happy you decided to move to Sunnyside. Thank you. It's a nice little town. You'll love it here. I hope so, yeah. Oh, is Q how you turn it on and off? It might be Q how you turn it on and off. I'll test that. Because if I can just turn it on and off with a button, that'd be way better. Instead of having to walk backwards. Like I said, it's a new feature that I have not used before. So, look at her face. She's very serious. And if any of the residents give you a hard time, please let me know. Um, 
Not that it's going to happen, of course, but just in case. Also, I'm the only doctor in town, so if you ever need anything, the clinic is on Main Street. Can't miss it. Thank you. Remember, it's important to maintain your health. Don't just wait till there's a problem. Feel free to see me anytime for regular checkups. Thank you, I will. I also like doing yoga in the park across the street in the morning. You're welcome to join that as well. That's very kind. Thank you, Dr. Okada. Please call me Mayumi. All right. See you around and good luck on your farm. Let me test out that, that cue. See if that's how you do auto walk. Nope, it's not. Okay. Tutorials will be available. Some will appear as pop-ups, others will be unlocked with a small notification. Tutorials can be found in your phone. Cool. You ready then? Yeah, I'm ready. I love all the little birdies. Riding in a truck. Well, here it is. Here what is? Your new home. But, but what? Where's the house? Huh? Isn't there a house on the land? Um, there was. But it fell apart years ago. What? Where am I supposed to sleep? Oh, right. Council gave me a tent to build for you. Hang on. So I get to sleep in a tent. Here we go. You're all set now. Welcome to Sunnyside, neighbor. Neighbor? Yep, got a ranch just on the other side of the river. Look how pretty this is with the trees. It's so pretty. Hope you like animals. You may hear some mooing occasionally. Mooing? What have I gotten myself into? Y'all right? It's going to be interesting. I'm fine, just a lot to take in. Yeah, I get that. Anyway, I think there's an old shed by the water pump. I bet there's some tools in there to help get you started. Anything you don't find in there, you can probably get from Ishikawa or Sota. Sota? Yep, Sota's family owns the garden center in town. So seeds and watering cans and stuff? Watering cans? What is this, 1996? We might be in the country, but it's not the Edo period. There's a hose on that shed like a normal farm. Right. Because this is also normal. All right, guess that's it. If anyone asks, I did my part and showed you the place. Thank you. You've been really helpful. Oh. Well, no, hang on. Let's be clear. I'm not a knight in shining armor, okay? Just because I helped you out doesn't mean I'll be running to your rescue all the time. You're going to have to work hard if you want to last longer than the others. Got that? I'm sorry. Did I offend you? <sighs> no. It's just... I've got my own place to look after, you know, but oh, just look at you. You're going to have a rough few weeks. <sighs> All right. Come by my house for lunch today, yeah? Least a neighbor can do is feed you, I guess. But you just said, I'm sorry for what I said. I'll text you around lunchtime, okay? Okay. I oh, guess I better look around. Kira's gonna flip out. 
Yeah, he is. Well, let's go get our tools. So this is our farm. Can't you tell it's a farm? One of the hints is to plant near the holes because, you know, No, I hit the wrong button. You can either do that or you can hold down shift. Now here's, here's the thing that they added um, this time. So right now we're in the cardboard box, right? But you can access your other storages. So you can go to like the global cache, which we don't have yet because we haven't gotten that far in the story. But you could go there and put like, if you had fish you wanted to put in the global storage or something else you had that needed to go in the global storage. It'll have like your refrigerator in here later on in the game. Um, we get a bike that has storage, you can access that. And you can move things between these things now. Before you just had to go all the way over, open things up separately, carry it from one to the other. Sometimes you had to make several trips to do it. Whereas now you can access any of your other storages. So like if you just harvested your crops and you've got a bunch of your crops in here, you could like, instead of running all the way to your house, to your fridge, you could come and do the, um, come to the cardboard box or your global cache, open it up, go to the refrigerator and just put all the stuff in there. So this is telling us about our tool wheel, which I already know. So you can either press T or you can press the middle mouse button. Hang on to get to that otherwise you can open up your inventory and we can just do that <clears throat> now as you can see I don't have a lot of food in that upper right hand corner there but I'm supposed to go get my phone fixed the map you can access the world map through the map app on your phone once open use WASD to move around the map and select different map locations to find out more about them like the never fret pub you could get lunch if it's that time of day. You could get dinner if it's that time of day. You can hang out, get drinks, play in the arcade, check out the coin machines. You can listen to music with these two people. You can have a romantic dinner or enjoy quality time together. So it's kind of cool. We're going to grab some mushrooms here. I do a lot of berry picking and mushroom picking at the beginning of the game for sure. I just love how pretty it is. All the different colored trees. Yay, I'm level one of resource gathering. Hurrah. Hurrah, hurrah. Let's go meet some people. Here's Ryan. Hey there. Hi, name's Ryan. Hello, Ryan. I'm new to town. Oh, I bet you bought that property by Gabe's place. I did. Oh, that's great. He could use a neighbor. 
I'll see you around. Good luck with the farm. Thanks. Anyone else over here? Doesn't look like it. Let's just grab these berries. Hello. Hi. Are you lost? No. It's alright if you are. It's common for people to wander into Sunnyside by accident. Oh no, it's not like that. No? No, I just moved here. I bought the farm near the post office. That's right. I see. Well, if we're neighbors, then that's only right that I offer you assistance should you need it. Sorry, if you need guidance of any kind, you can call me. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. New in town or just visiting? New in town. Actually, I just bought the old farm. I hate that expression. In American, it means you died. You unalived. <laughs> oh, the one next to the post office? So we're like neighbors. Neighbors? Yeah, I work at the post office. Oh, cool. You should totally hang out sometime. That sounds nice. Gotta go, but text sometime, okay? Sure. I love her hair. Let's grab these berries. I think my camera sensitivity is up too high. Let me just turn that down a little. I'm getting a little, uh... Interface. Uh, general. Graphics. Interface. Input. Oh, camera sensitivity. I have it at 63. Let's just turn it down a little bit. Let's turn this down. Maybe that's my issue. Okay. Resume. Much better. Exploration 2. Yay. We'll get to lunch with Gabe. I know this is already kind of a long video, but... Oh, I should come back between 10. Akira, so? We're happy to have you. Welcome to town. I did it. You really made it safe? No, I mean, I bought the place. What, for real? Yep. Holy crap, why so surprised? Didn't think you'd actually do it. Look, I know this is hard for you. No, no, I get it. You needed a new start. It was time, you know? I couldn't rely on you forever. True, but there's nothing wrong with sticking together. Maybe not, but I don't want to hold you back either. I needed to do this. When this place is thriving and I'm successful homesteader, I'll invite you over, okay? Guess I'll see you in ten years then. Rude. Ha, ah, just kidding. Looking forward to it. All right. So we're getting hungry, so I'm going to eat some berries, I'm not going to eat too much of them because um, 
he'll be calling us for lunch and that will fill us completely up. And then I just want to go to empty hand again. I guess we're just waiting till 10 o'clock. Let's go pick some berries. Till 10 o'clock. Maybe meet some people. Hi, hello. You're the new farmer? That's right. Welcome to Sunnyside. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. So, I'm Kaida. I maintain Sunnyside's Kashiwa Shrine. It's nice to meet you, Kaida. You as well. So, are uh, you... Don't look like a priest? I know. I'm okay with that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Not at all. Let me know when you need something. I will, thanks. That was <laughs> odd. I don't know what was odd about it, but evidently it was odd. Oh look, more berries. Honestly, you don't ever need to learn to cook. You could live your entire life off of nothing but berries in this game. Oh, it's almost... Almost ten, so we can go get our phone fixed. Again. Hello, hero. How's the property? Um, different. It was different? Oh, I missed the tour yesterday, and I didn't realize there wasn't a house on the property. Oh, that's... Hmm. Uh, I know it's not much, but I could fix your phone free of charge. Maybe it'll help a little. That's kind of you. There you go, fixed. I gave you some free apps, too. <laughs> they should help keep you organized and such. One of them <clears throat> is actually a utilities app that I should have given you when you bought the land. It'll help you keep track of your water and electricity usage. Wow, that was quick, thank you. Oh, technology comes easy to me. So if you ever need anything, you come here to Tech Hero, alright? Alright, thanks Hero. See you around. Running a homestead, yeah, electricity. And you can do it on the phone. To gain experience running your homestead, you'll discover new ways to collect resources and irrigation. Which means you can do sprinklers. And then this is showing you how you can learn more. Get um, leveled up. So now we need to go and... Let's meet her. Well, if it isn't the young farmer. Hello, farmer. Hi, you were at the auction, right? That's right, my name is Seiko. I'm on the Sunnyside Town Council. Oh, that makes sense. It's nice to meet you, Seiko. I'm Sashalas. Lovely to meet you. It's nice to have a fresh face in Sunnyside. I really hope you make magic with that land you bought. Sorry, magic? 
Sure, bringing life into the world and caring for it's pretty magical, don't you think? She cute little cool flower in her hair. Oh, 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 I, I hadn't thought of it that way. Well, anyway, you're welcome in my shop anytime, Sashalis, even if you don't plan on buying anything. Thanks, I appreciate that. See you around. <laughs> Hey, hello. I don't think I recognize you. You just visiting? Oh no, I just moved here. Oh, hey, that's cool. I'm Xander. I'm a bit new here myself. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sush Alice. Great, good to meet you too. So I work at the mill down by the lake. Feel free to stop by anytime. Oh, thank you. Don't mention it. See you around, yeah? Sure. Let's go pick some more berries while we wait for Gabe to call us. Now I'm going to show you on the map. That's where we are, right? If you go down this way, I had to look this up the first time because the game isn't really clear on it. But these here, with the anytime you see something with the white going around it like that, that means everything inside here you can pick from, like the bushes. And more importantly, you can chop down the trees. There's a couple of these areas on the map. Yeah, look how huge this thing is. There's a place down here. All the way down all this. And all the way up that road. And then over here there's another gigantic spot. Over here. And down across this bridge over the river here. There's a whole other spot here. It's just crazy. Here's some campgrounds down here. And there's the bus stop. And then there's our house. And then there's uh, the ranch. And that's the little park we had gone to in the post office. So there's a lot. Look at the little piggies. They're cute. Just love the pigs. So this is the area. Anywhere from this point on, you can just chop down all the trees, collect all the mushrooms, all the berries. Chop all the rocks. Of course, you'll need an axe to chop down the trees, so we don't have that yet. But look at that, I've already got 68 berries. So I'm not going to go hungry for quite some time yet. Should you see if there's someone more at the park? Little raccoon, shoo, shoo, shoo. Stop.
Oh, somebody's up here. Let's go say hi. Oh, can I say hi? Thank you. Hello. Hey. Do you live around here? Yeah? You a tourist? Can I help you with something? Oh, no. I just moved to town. Oh, yeah? You buy one of those old farms? I did. That's cool. Hope it works out for you. Thanks. I live across from the mill. If you ever want to hang out or anything like that, I'll keep that in mind. Cool. See you around. New contact. Awesome. We go up to the farm and start cutting some stuff down while we wait for Gabe to call. I have been recording for almost an hour. It's crazy. I'm sorry, this first video is going to be kind of long, I think. don't have the energy so what I did is I just pulled up the um, um, the tool menu remember it was either by pushing T or the middle mouse button and then I just pushed the number one and sat down and it makes your energy go up a lot faster I have this on, on like really slow days. I put it at the max, which is uh, 60 minutes for a day. So um, maybe I'll put it for 30 minutes for a day and then it'll be like one whole day for one whole recording. And we'll just do one day at a time. I think that would be better than this. See, our energy is almost fully up to green again. And we're hungry. So this is good. I'm going to do the nata again. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Thank you. When I'm playing on my own, oh, there's Gabriel. Let's go to lunch, get energy. Still on for lunch, sure I'm on my way, or actually I'm in the middle of something. Text me again, no, let's go. We're gonna go. And then we're gonna end the uh, video there. Uh, this looks great, thank you. Eat the burger, just the grilled veggies, I don't eat meat. So right there, it gives you a choice whether you're gonna be vegetarian or not. <laughs> Me, personally, I always eat the burger. They always look so good to me. It's not much, but you can always count on me for a good burger and a grilled veggies. Are they a favorite? You know, not really, no. But they're easy to make and bring back good memories. How did you cook this? It's smoky? On the grill, pretty common for vegetables here in Japan, but burgers, not so much. Very common in the U.S., though. Yeah, it is. Is that where you're from? Yep, moved to Japan with my father when I was barely a teenager. We lived in the city, though. Honestly, I wish he'd taken us somewhere more like Sunnyside, but life is what you make it, I guess. How long have you lived here? 
Been in Sunnyside about 15 years now. How about you? Where are you from? The capital. Oof, big change. Just a bit. What were you doing for you brought that old overgrown plot? Like, for work? Yeah. Um... I'll just say hospitality this time. I was working in the hospitality industry, restaurants, hotels, that kind of thing. Oh, definitely a big change then. Regretting the decision yet to buy the farm? No, not at all. I'm looking forward to the challenge and the new start. Hey, that's the spirit good for you. You're going to need all the help you can get. Luckily, Sunnyside is full of good people. You'll know, You'll find your way. That's kind of you to say. When I first moved here, gosh, back when Lucy was no taller than my knees, I'll tell you this property was a mess. Farmer owners abandoned it. Townsfolk were good to me. They really helped me fix the place up and get started. Most of them have moved on now, though. Guess it's up to me to help you then, isn't it? I wouldn't want to impose. No, no, it's the right thing to do. Well, first two things you gotta figure out are food and shelter. I'm, it's gonna take a while for your first crop to come in, so you probably need to get food from Sacco's for now or Naka. You can also forage for things like berries and mushrooms all over town. Shelter, well, you've got that tent. It's only gonna last so long, though. So we're gonna need to figure out how to get you a house. Next thing you'll want to figure out where our water and electricity. Should I be taking notes? Sorry, guess dumping information on you isn't going to help much. Don't want to overwhelm you. How about we start you off with a small camping stove? Pretty sure we can get one from the outlet in Higashi. Outlet? Yeah, big appliance store. They'll have everything you need when it comes to furnishing your uh, tent, I guess. You know how to cook, right? Nah, uh, sort of. I can make sandwiches. Right. Maybe we should get you set up for some cooking lessons with Hina, just in case. Wait, you don't have a farming background, do you? Nope. Even, did you even bring seeds? Um... No? Oh boy. I'll be right back. There, that should help get you started. Potatoes, look at all the little things here. They're so cute. What am I supposed to do with these? Well, can't tell you everything now, can I? You've got the farming spirit in you. You'll figure it out. And if I don't, well, then I guess you're not going to last long. No matter how much I help you, that's reassuring. I got a good feeling about you, Sashalis. I think you'll be fine. Oh. Oh, that's right. There's a whole other cutscene after that one, isn't there? Okay. Well, when we're done with this cutscene, we'll finish. Then what I'll do is I'll finish out the day by, like, um, gathering more berries and stuff and, um, clearing out more of the farm. And then I'll, um, we'll set the days to 30 and, and then we'll just do a day of stream after that, okay? Oh, hi. Hi. I didn't realize anyone bought the place. But come to think of it, the tent was a little weird. Yeah, I just moved in. Gabe bought the tent for me. That's great. Welcome to Sunnyside. Catherine's so cheery. I'm Catherine Takahashi. Everyone calls me Cat then. Hi, Cat. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Sashalis. Nice to meet you too, Sashalis. Sorry for dropping in randomly. It's just... Well, this area is beautiful. I like to come by and paint to do homework here. It's never been a problem because no one owned the place, but well, I don't want to bother you. 
It's no bother. Not at all. You're welcome here anytime. Oh, thank you. The breeze over that hill is just so refreshing. And I'm glad the view isn't going to waste anymore. My grandma was really good friends with the original owners a long time ago. The kids moved away when I was really little. And I guess her parents passed away a few years back. Grammy used to say they never showed any interest in the place and that the property wouldn't stay in the family. I guess she was right. Natalie says a lot of families have been leaving Sunnyside for better opportunities in the city. Not me, though. I love it here. It's so peaceful. I mean, that's why I moved here, too. Right, exactly. Okay, I'll admit that the trees don't seem as vibrant as I remember and there aren't nearly as many wild animals. I guess even nature moves on, huh? But you haven't moved on. No, Sunnyside might not hold opportunities for everyone, but there's a lot here for me. Anyway, so you're a farmer. Um, not exactly. What do you mean? This would be my first time. You bought a farm but don't know how to grow anything? Well, yeah. How brave. I don't know about that. Seems courageous to me. Thanks. Gabe seemed pretty concerned. He is helpful though, I think. Gave me some potatoes? Not sure what to do with them. He gave you potatoes, but didn't tell you why? Ugh, why is it such a jerk like that all the time? Do you have any idea? My guess is he meant for you to plant them. I didn't even know you could do that. Yep, I don't really know anything else about growing potatoes, though. But I know a ton about growing strawberries. We just finished planting more for the season. We even have some extra seeds if you want them. That'd be great. I can bring them by tomorrow morning on my way to class if you like. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Crap, I gotta go. I have an essay due tomorrow, and I haven't even started it yet. Bye. Bye, cat. She's interesting. Okay, guys. I'm gonna say goodbye right here with a little raccoon in the background. But I do want y'all to know that I am really sorry I haven't been streaming and you haven't heard much from me. I'm on these um, medications that makes me really tired and kind of confused. Um, and um, everything takes more concentration, even talking. So... I'm um, hoping these videos will tide everyone over, including me. Just know that I miss you all very much. And what happened to me is, um, you all know that I'm disabled, right? That's no secret. I have vertigo and I have discs missing in my back that have given me nerve damage over the years. So... I used to be like, at first, like just part of my leg was numb, then like three half of my leg was numb, and then three quarters of my leg was numb. And I've been avoiding the treatment because they're saying probably back surgery, um, at least to replace the discs that I've lost, right? Um, but now my entire right leg is numb and if I don't take the pills that make me confused and sleepy and, um, like, I feel really weak when I'm on them, um, then it's like my right leg is not, like, I can't feel it, but it's also, like, on, feels like it's, like, on fire. But if I take the pills, then it's just numb, but I have all these other side effects, which is why I don't like taking them. But... It's worth it to take them right now. Um, I have a doctor's appointment on the 14th of September. They'll probably refer me to a back clinic. And then new MRIs, all that kind of stuff. And um, I'm probably going to end up needing surgery. 
so I don't feel comfortable streaming and depending on how this video goes I may or may not be making more videos I'm hoping to make at least more videos cuz I'm lonely <laughs> I miss you guys, and it takes forever to type things, too. So, just know I'm thinking of you all, and I miss you, and y'all are very important to my life. So, I have gotten a lot of well wishes, a lot of take your times, and I appreciate all of you, and those little messages you leave me. They mean so much. Thank you all. You all are so wonderful. So, I'm hoping to see you again real soon in the next video. And I will change that so it's just a 30 minute day instead of a 60 minute day because it's too long. So, take care of yourselves first, your family second, and then of course take care of each other. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.